time. I'm working in the area of nanotechnology, which is a science um, of very tiny, small materials, usually in the size between 1 and 100 nanometers. To give you an idea, 5 nanometer uh, nanoparticle relates to a football, like a football to the entire Earth. So these very tiny materials can gain some specific properties, for example, uh, paramagnetic properties, electrical conductivity, uh, and optical properties, which are very different from the normal coarse materials, even if they are made from the same chemical composition. For example, gold nanoparticles of different sizes and different shapes can have different colors, and they are definitely differing from the normal piece of gold we are used to see. So due to these special properties, they gained a particular interest for several innovative industrial applications. And already nowadays, we can find many consumer products which are containing nanomaterials, for example, cosmetics, food, uh, batteries, textiles. Uh, as an example, in cosmetics, uh, the sunscreens contain titanium dioxide nanoparticles, and through that, uh, the sunscreens are nowadays transparent and not any more white as it used to be in the past. In our group at the GRC, we are performing biological studies to understand the interactions of nanomaterials with human cells and tissues. As you can imagine, nanomaterials being so small, they can easily enter the cell and they can alter the physiological processes. Understanding the mechanisms by which this happens can help us to identify the potential for toxicity, but understanding this also uh, provides for us a basis to develop and optimize better test methods that can be used for the safety assessment of nanomaterials. And these test methods are then translated into test guidelines used at regulatory level. Through our research, we are providing support for the development of a sound regulatory risk management framework. And by understanding the potential toxicity of nanomaterials, we hope to minimize the hazard for consumers, for workers and for the environment. And by doing all that, we hope that in the future, nanomaterial-based products will gain more acceptance by the European consumers and this will also help to stimulate the development of new innovative nanotechnology-based products by the European industry.